Vijay Vital Malia is an Indian businessman, and former member of parliament. He is the subject of an extradition effort by the Indian government to return him from the UK to face charges of financial crimes in India. Malyar is a former owner of the Royal Challengers Bangalore cricket team. The son of a businessman, he is the ex-chairman of United Spirits, the largest spirits company in India, and continues to serve as chairman of United Breweries Group, an Indian conglomerate with interests including beverage alcohol, aviation infrastructure, real estate and fertilizer. He has been the chairman of Sanofi India, and the chairman of Bayer Crop Science in India for over 20 years, and the chairman of several other companies. Malia was also the founder and former owner of defunct Kingfisher Airlines and former co-owner of the Force India Formula One team before it went into administration. Chapter 1 – Early and Personal Life Vijay Malia is the son of Vital Malia from Bontwal, Mangalore, Karnataka. Born to Vital Malia and Lalita Ramaya. Vital Malia was the chairman of United Breweries Group. Vijay Malia was educated at La Martiniere, Calcutta, where he was appointed house captain of Hastings House in his final year, and at St. Xavier's College, Kolkata, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Commerce degree in 1976. While in college, Maliar interned in his family's businesses. After graduating, he interned at the American part of Hoke Stage in the United States. In 1986, he met and married Samira Sharma, an air hostess of Air India. They have one son, Siddharth Maliar, who was born on 7 May 1987. They were divorced shortly afterwards although Maliar has stated in interviews that he has a great relationship with his first wife. In June 1993, Maliar married his current wife Rekha, whom he had known since childhood, and together they have two daughters, Liana and Tanya. Rekha was previously married twice, and also has a daughter and son, Layla and Kabir, from a previous marriage. Maliar adopted Rekha's daughter Layla. He is reported to be preparing to marry for the third time, to former Kingfisher Airlines air hostess Pinky Lalwani. Generally characterized as having an extravagant lifestyle, Maliar was reported in 2005 to be someone who prays every day and conducts the entire 42 day Sabarimala fast every year while wearing only black clothing, and to be a devout follower of Sri Sri Ravi Shankar and the Art of Living Foundation. Vijay Maliar is an ardent devotee of Lord Venkateshwara of Tirupati. Sabarimala Iopa. And Cook Subramania. On his 59th birthday in 2012, he offered 3 kilograms of gold bricks to Venkateshwara Temple, Tirumala. In 2012, he also donated 8 million rupees gold plated doors for Cook Subramania. These were done at a time when the Kingfisher Airlines owned by him had to be shut down due huge financial loses. Chapter 2 Business and Career he is the ex-chairman of United Spirits, the largest spirits company in India, and continues to serve as chairman of United Breweries Group, an Indian conglomerate with interests including beverage alcohol, aviation infrastructure, real estate and fertilizer. He has been the chairman of Sanofi India, and the chairman of Bayer Crop Science in India for over 20 years, and the chairman of several other companies. The son of businessman Vital Maliar, he became the chairman of United Breweries Group in 1983 at the age of 28, following his father's death. Since then, the group has grown into a multinational conglomerate of over 60 companies, with an annual turnover which increased by 64% over 15 years to US$11 billion in 1998 to 1999. Over the years, he has diversified and acquired Burger Paints, Best and Crompton in 1988, Mangal or Chemicals and Fertilizers in 1990, The Asian Age Newspaper and the publisher of film magazines, and Cine Blitz, a Bollywood magazine in 2001. United's Kingfisher Beer has a more than 50% market share in India. It is available in 52 other countries, and leads among Indian beers in the international market. United Spirits Limited, the flagship company of the UB Group, achieved the milestone of selling 100 million cases becoming the second-largest spirits company in the world by volume, under Maliar's chairmanship. 
In 2012, Malia ceded management control of United Spirits Limited to Global Spirits giant Diageo, retaining a minority stake in the business. In February 2015 Malia was forced to resign as chairman of United Spirits, and he contracted to receive a $75 million severance payment as part of that deal, but the courts in India have blocked that payment. Kingfisher Airlines, established in 2005, was a major business venture launched by Malyar. It eventually became insolvent and had to be closed down. As of October 2013, it had not paid salaries to its employees for 15 months, had lost its license to operate as an airline, and owed more than 1 billion US dollars in bank loans. By November 2015, the amount owed to the banks had grown to at least $1.35 billion, and there were other debts owed for taxes and to numerous small creditors. As part of the Kingfisher collapse, Malyar is accused of being a willful defaulter under Indian law, including accusations of money laundering, misappropriation, etc. In March 2016, a consortium of banks approached the Supreme Court of India to stop Malyar from going abroad due to the pending money his companies owed them. As per media reports, he had already left India. On 13 March 2016 a court in Hyderabad issued a non-bailable warrant for Malyar's arrest, but it appears he is remaining at his country estate near London, England, while his lawyer contests the warrant with a higher court. On 18 April 2016, a special court in Mumbai also issued an undated non-bailable arrest warrant against the businessman. This was issued in response to a plea by the Enforcement Directorate on 15 April before the special court hearing cases under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, 2002. There were allegations on him that he transferred 4,000 crore to tax havens. In June 2016, the Enforcement Directorate reported it had provisionally attached 14.11 billion rupees rupees worth of Malyar's Indian assets and properties against unpaid loans totaling 8.07 billion rupees. On 3 September, it issued a second attachment order for a further 66.30 billion rupees worth of Malyar's assets including a farmhouse, shares in United Breweries and multiple flats in Bengaluru valued at 5.65 billion rupees. By December 2016, the ED has attached a total of 96.61 billion rupees worth of assets of Malyar and Kingfisher in India. This is one of the largest attachment of assets made by the ED in a Prevention of Money Laundering Act case till now. The ED also decided to send letters rogatory to the US, the UK and Europe requesting them to assist it in attachment of Malyar's over 10 foreign assets. In July 2020, Indian media reported that Malyar had offered a settlement package of 139.60 billion rupees as against a total principal amount of 90 billion rupees to the consortium of Indian bankers pursuing litigation against him. This settlement was not accepted by the bankers. Chapter 3 Political Career Previously a member of the Okila Bharata Janata Dal, Malyar joined the Subramanian Swami-led Janata Party in 2003 and was its national working president until 2010. He was elected to the Rajya Sabha as independent member twice from his home state of Karnataka, first in 2002 with the support of the Janata Dal and Indian National Congress and then in 2010 with the support of the Janata Dal and BJP on 2 May 2016, Malyar resigned from his post as a Rajya Sabha MP, a week after the Rajya Sabha ethics panel declared that he should no longer be a member of the House and one day before the panel was set to meet again to recommend his expulsion. He had left India during this time, and his passport had been revoked. In his resignation letter, Malyar said he was shocked that the Department of Financial Services, Ministry of Finance, Government of India has provided factually wrong information to a parliament committee, and that he was resigning because he had concluded that he would not get a fair trial or justice. Chapter 4 Controversies Once called the king of good times due to his extravagant lifestyle, Malyar and his companies have been embroiled in financial scandals, and controversies since 2012. Malyar left India on 2 March 2016 after saying he wanted to move to Britain to be closer to his children. 
A group of 17 Indian banks are trying to collect approximately 90 billion rupees in loans which Malyar has allegedly routed to gain 100% or a partial stake in about 40 companies across the world. Several agencies including the Income Tax Department, and the Central Bureau of Investigation are investigating Malyar for charges including financial fraud and money laundering, and the Attorney General said that Malyar's assets abroad are far in excess to loans taken by him. The 17 banks added a joint petition at the Supreme Court of India in March 2016 to try to prevent Malyar from leaving the country, but the Indian government indicated that he had already left. The Enforcement Directorate of India also filed a money laundering case against him in March 2016 for allegedly sending abroad some 9 billion rupees that had been loaned to his airline. On 24 April 2016, the Ministry of External Affairs revoked Malyar's passport, and he resigned from the Rajya Sabha on 2 May 2016, the day before their ethics committee was prepared to recommend his expulsion. Currently the Enforcement Directorate is seeking Interpol to raise an international arrest warrant against Malyar. Also, the High Court of Judicature at Hyderabad issued a non-bailable warrant against Malyar on 13 March 2016 for his failure to appear in the court regarding an allegation of cheating the GMR Hyderabad International Airport Limited by issuing them a dishonored check for 5 million rupees. On 13 June 2016, the Prevention of Money Laundering Act Court declared Malyar a proclaimed offender on a request by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with its money laundering probe against him in an alleged 90 billion rupee loan. Default case. Malyar co owned the Formula One Team Force India from 2007 to 2018. In the middle of the 2018 Formula One season, Sahara Force India went into administration due to financial trouble. In August 2018 the team's assets were purchased by Racing Point F1 team, and continued to race under the Force India name for the remainder of the 2018 season. He is also known for having launched Kingfisher Airlines, a major business venture in 2005 that later became insolvent, and was shut down in 2012. Chapter 4 Section 1 Accusations On 18 April 2017, Malyar was arrested by the UK Metropolitan Police Extradition Unit on behalf of the Indian authorities in relation to accusations of fraud, and was released on bail pending further consideration of the case. On 9 May 2017, the Supreme Court of India found Malyar guilty of contempt of court and summoned him to appear on 10 July. When he failed to appear, the Supreme Court said the contempt case would only proceed further after he is produced before the court. Malyar dismissed the proceedings against him, calling the situation a witch hunt. He said I have done absolutely nothing wrong. In fact I am glad that it is finally before a UK court and an impartial court. So we wait and see how it plays out. In the meantime, he is not allowed to leave Britain, but he said that is no hardship for him? He said there's nothing to miss for him about India, since his immediate family has all moved to England or the United States. On 3 October 2017, Malyar was arrested as part of a money laundering case in London and was released on bail. An appeal to extradite him from Britain was filed on charges of bank fraud estimated at 90 billion rupees. The final hearing on extradition will be held at the Westminster Magistrates Court on July 31. Malyar is on bail since his arrest on an extradition warrant in April 2017. Malyar is fighting an extradition case in the UK. On 16 June 2018 VJ Malyar was ordered to pay £200,000 to Indian banks by a United Kingdom court. He was also asked to pay money towards registration of Worldwide Freezing Order and of Karnataka's Debt Recovery Tribunal. VJ Malyar has to pay dues to 13 banks namely SBI, Bob, Corporation Bank, Federal Bank Limited, Idby Bank, Indian Overseas Bank, J&K Bank, Punjab, and Zind Bank, PNB, State Bank of Mysore, UCO Bank, UB and JM Financial Asset Reconstruction Company Private Limited The consortium attempted to gain possession of Malyar's £20 million property on Cornwall Terrace in London, but Malyar claimed it was owned by his mother. UBS went to court in 2018, seeking to evict Malyar, his son Siddhartha, 
and his mother Lalit from Cornwall Terrace. A trial was set for May 2019. The trial did not go ahead since Maliar drew up a settlement with UBS. According to the terms of the agreement, Maliar can remain in the property and if the mortgage is not repaid by April 2020, UBS has a right to immediate possession. Maliar must also pay the interest of £820,333 accrued up to April 2019 plus any further amount accrued up to 1 May 2020. He was also instructed to pay legal costs of £1,047,081 and receivers costs of £223,863. In December 2018, the court ruled that he can be extradited to India to face fraud investigations. In July 2019, Maliar was granted permission to appeal to London's High Court against his extradition. In April 2020, the plea filed by VJ Maliar against his extradition to India was rejected by London High Court. VJ Maliar lost his final appeal against extradition. Maliar had filed an appeal in the UK Supreme Court earlier in month of May 2020 in the wake of losing an appeal in the London High Court against an extradition order to India on alleged charges of fraud and money laundering related to unrecovered loans to Kingfisher Airlines. It was said that he could be extradited in next 28 days. However, in October 2020 the Indian government was notified that Maliar could not be currently extradited due to an unspecified confidential legal matter. Chapter 4 Section 2 – Leaked Documents Maliar was named in the Panama Papers and Paradise Papers, leaked confidential documents relating to offshore investment. Chapter 5 – Awards Maliar has received several professional awards both in India and overseas. Honorary degree of Doctorate of Philosophy in Business Administration, by the Southern California University for Professional Studies Southern California University is not affiliated with the prestigious University of Southern California. Ophier de la Légion d'Honneur, a high award of recognition in France. Global Leader for Tomorrow, World Economic Forum. Entrepreneur of the Year Award at the Asian Awards.